Well, having cancer impacted every part of my life really significantly. Of course, I was young and, and in great health and um, never really had a problem and all of a sudden I'm dealing with cancer. And so emotionally, that was an incredible blow to feel like I wasn't a young, healthy man anymore. Physically, it was incredibly profound. The lost weight, lost strength, lost focus, ability to do things. It was a real struggle. Cervical cancer is not an easy cancer. And the treatments and the psychosocial impact of it are incredibly devastating to a woman and the people that love her. For me, my treatments were physically devastating while I was going through it. It was horrific on my body. It was horrific for my husband to watch. I did not want them to feel what I was feeling. And yet, they're watching me go through it. They were as emotionally scarred as I was. I didn't even know how much I wanted a little Chrissy with curly hair <laughs> until I was told it's not gonna happen. Many of the women that I take care of with cervical cancer are young women who have not even begun their families yet. And to hear as a young woman that you have cancer and then to hear that the treatment will completely take away your ability to have babies, those, that's, that's a double whammy. On June 14, 2001, at 7 o'clock in the morning at Johns Hopkins Hospital, I had everything that I thought that made me a woman removed. And it was devastating for me. It changed my life forever. I think when people really understand how common the human papillomavirus is, they're like, wow, you know? It's not limited just to cervical cancer. It has a, a huge spectrum of diseases, everything from cervical cancer, anal cancer, and head and neck cancer. And it can affect both uh, uh, girls and boys. You need to realize that this is a problem out there, and it's a problem that we can't be shy about or uncomfortable with. It would be, it, it's a problem that everybody and anybody can have, and the consequences are, are huge. When I have a patient who dies of cervical cancer, or even when I see somebody suffering with the treatment effects of cervical cancer, and I know that this is something that could have been prevented if that patient had had either access to screening or to vaccination, it, it just makes me so sad and so angry <laughs> that we have not done a better job of educating the public, the providers, the parents about how important this vaccine is. The hope that we have a vaccine that can prevent HPV-related cancers, I can't even describe that feeling for you because it means that no one will have to go through the things that those of us who have HPV-related cancers do. It means that we can win the war on cancer starting with these types of cancers. This vaccine is amazing and parents have the opportunity to utilize this vaccine to help ensure that these cancers do not happen to their children. This is their opportunity to be a superhero.